Yo, what's going on, Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again, and welcome back to episode 6 of Monopoly HUD. It has been a while, but we are ready to get back into the series and continue with our winning ways. But before that, we gotta take care of some business. You know, the month of September is gone, so we do have a premium players pack to open. But before we open that, we're gonna head to the dice first and see what we roll, and then we'll open up that pack. So let's head to the board. All right, guys, we are back, ready to roll the dice. Let's see what we get, and we get a 12. All right, guys, so a 12 is open up two premium packs, but before we go do that, we did roll a double, and I uh, did get a comment saying if you roll a double, you get to roll again. That's how it works in real Monopoly, so let's go roll the dice one more time. All right, we're rolling the dice again, and we get a three. All right, guys, a three is open up one premium pack, so we have three premium packs to open, and then that premium player's pack that we got from doing the monthly set. So three premium packs we're hoping for something to upgrade the team this was some good rolls this episode we're finally exceeding the two pack opening thing um you know that we had in uh recent videos 1500 coins though we will take that uh walensky doubt he makes the team um come on something to upgrade it last time our best pull last time was a phil kessel can we top an 83 overall that'd be nice a tristan drive would not make the team by the way josh archibald won't not make the team and that's about it a little bit of a rough pack but we did get 1500 coins to add on to our 2200 coins 22,000. holy math is not my forte all right that puts us up to 24,000 coins we have two more packs to open here technically three with that premium pack but with the roll two more to go so here we go Gudobin will not be making the team oh these packs have been rough for us we are hoping for just something decent here boys come on Something to put on the team. Nothing at all. Man, these packs are rough. All right, last and final pack from what we've rolled. Oh, man, nothing yet to upgrade the team, which does suck. Maybe this pack is where we get something. Kyle Turris. Okay, we saw that gold tint. 81 overall. He should make the team. 89 speed. He's got 81 face off, so maybe we don't put him on the draw. Maybe we put him on the right, uh, the left wing because he's a righty. But Kyle Turris, we will take that. What else can we get from here? Kyle Turris is good. Robert Hag will not make the team. Niku will not make the team. Anything else here? Contracts. And that is about it. But Kyle Turris will definitely be making the team. Before we go upgrade the team, we do have this premium players pack from doing the set from last month. So this is 10 items, all gold players, at least two 80 plus overalls, okay? So we're hoping those two plus 80 overalls are absolutely huge. Here we go, big boy pack to help the team. He will not be making the team. Great a point, okay. That is big, that's our first 80 plus overall. 90 speed, a very good shot. Decent face offs, he could make the wing. I don't think he'll be good enough to win draws but hey, a Braden point that is huge towards the team uh, we still have one more 80 plus overall and that is Alex Tuck not the greatest he probably will make the team because of how low the overalls is but not a too bad pulls we still got a couple more uh, players left maybe something surprises us towards the end of the pack Thomas Grice oh John Klingberg okay so a very very good pack 90 speed yeah this card is obviously making the team but hey, we got some upgrades. Let's go throw them onto the team. All right, guys. So we did make big changes to the team. The team is looking very good. The first line stays intact with Kessel, Monaghan, and Kane. But the second line got so much better. We got Braden, Point, William Carlson, and Adrian Kempe. Then the third line is looking like Kyle Turris, Charlie Coyle, and Andreas Antanasiu. And then the fourth line is Pointis Auberg, Adam Henrique, and Alex Kerfoot. So the forwards did upgrade with Braden, Point, and Kyle Turris. And then on D, we did get a big upgrade with John Klingberg, who will be playing alongside Ryan Suter. Second defensive pairing with Muzzin and Niskanen, and then D'Angelo and Joachim Ryan. There might be someone who can actually replace him. Let me check. Hold on. Okay, so there isn't. He looks like the fastest guy, so we'll keep him in for now. And then in net, we have Connor Halbuck still, so not too bad. Do we have any synergies active by any chance or close to any? Uh, we are three off Thread the Needle, two off Arm Day, two off Wingman, two off Rock Solid, so... It is what it is. The team's looking better though, so let's hop into the first game. All right, guys, game number one. We're playing against 11 time cup champs, so I don't know if we should be scared or not, but let's get in here and let's get a W. I believe in the team. All right, so he's got Backstrom, uh, Larkin. All right, so he's got a decent team, but not like a superstar team like we played in recent episodes, so let's get this. Okay. Here we go, point. In his debut, he's fast. He gets that across. Kempe! Oh my god, he just couldn't get the shot off. Here we go, point. Take that. 
another shot by oh point having himself a debut here there we go big board play we get that point to Kempe the new acquisition point throwing it over to Kempe who has a hot hand and we're up one nothing I'm liking the second line so far honestly guys if we get someone that replaces Kempe I don't think I can take him off the team that's how much I've been loving his card the pass back across the Muzzin the two defensemen playing forwards there for some reason point over to Muzzin Oh, Kyle Turris in his debut gets robbed. Turris across. There it is. Oh my, he just got a stick on that. Anthony C all alone. Dude, what is happening? Get that across. That was a force, but that almost worked. Anthony C has been on forever now. Take a shot. At the end of one, it is one nothing. I mean, look at the stats. Five minutes time on attack to is one minute and 34 seconds. We're obviously playing better. Just Hellbuck is robbing us right now. Carlson. Carlson. Oh my god, Connor Hellbuck. Is a freaking legend apparently. We get this. We get this across too. Turris off the side of the net. Oh my goodness. At the end of two, it's one nothing, and I'm getting a little frustrated that I only have one goal. Look at the freaking stats. Nine shots to his 13. Look at the time on attack. 11:28 to 3:07. Like I don't know how he's still in this. I don't. I really don't. Go on ahead. Get something done here. That gets across. There it is. Braden Point in his debut. 2 nothing. finally we solved Hellbuck after the first one. Only took us almost two periods. He might even quit off of that one. It only took one more goal and he quit. Like I said, I was over him all game and he knew it. You know, that's why he quit. Just over 850 coins we get from that game. Confirmation of the two points. We still have a perfect record going uh, with this series, which is very nice. We completed one objective, which will be some coins. And looking at the stats, man, I obviously deserve to win that game there is 300 coins we get for winning a game so that's nice we'll take the 300 coins i believe that was putting us just over 25,000 coins but before we head into game two of the episode you know what we have to do we have to head back to the board and roll the dice let's get it we are back to the board back with the dice let's roll it see what we get and we get a seven all right guys so we did roll a seven and a seven is open up two premium packs which we are going to do right now so in total i believe that's like five or six packs we opened this episode we got some good pulls not in the premium packs our best pull in the premium pack was a kyle Turris. hopefully we can be an 81 overall in these two packs something big to upgrade the team here so here we go anything good please yay hook a brother up let's make this team even better than it already is here um none of these guys so far are making the team left with two cards doubt there'll be anything left feels bad christopher tanner is our best ball last pack we are going to hit them with a nose pack believe it or not okay this is where we pull something big yes purchase and continue big pull from the nose packs only here we go a nice contract okay and a wade jets jersey come on chris tierney 79 overall these packs are rough mike condon Forsberg, Ontario Rain. I don't think we're going to pull anything. Man, nothing. Nothing at all that we pulled. It's going to be making a debut to the team. Feels bad. All right, we're going to do this trading real quick. 10 gold jerseys for a premium pack. Hey, we'll test our luck with another premium pack. Hopefully, there's something in there. Um, you know, I'm feeling like opening up packs right now. So, give me a break. We do a quick set. Hopefully, this premium pack gets us something for, from trading in jersey that we won't be using. So, here we go. Man, can we top a Kyle Turris? These packs have been rough. We're hoping for something better, something to upgrade the team, obviously. And I don't think we're gonna get one of these packs. This, this has been rough. Brock Nelson, but he won't make the team. This is rough. All right, so even though the packs have been rough, you know, we have to head into game two and hopefully keep the perfect record alive. So let's go do that. All right, game number two against Crickets. We're looking to go 2-0 this episode and keeping the perfect record alive. So let's go do it. Here we go. Anders Lee. Who's that on the draw? Dry side. Also a decent team again. So let's go and get this dub. Get that up to point. Points faster. Point takes that. And Braden Point scores. I'm liking his card. 1-0. Let's go. Braden Point. I'm pretty sure that's his second goal in his second game. He's loving the team. I can see it. Get that across. Braden Point scores his second of the night. I'm loving his card. Let's go. 2 nothing, boys. Braden Point is on one tonight. Big hit. Monahan. Now we get that across. Braden Point with the hat trick. I'm telling you, I'm loving this point, and I think he's gone. Are we going to say later, nerd? Later, nerd. Two rage quits again. Braden Point ends up the game with a hat trick. 
What a pull from that premium player's pack. He has been insane. There's a confirmation of the two points, making us 3-0 in Division 8. Next episode, if we win both games, we have a chance to win the Div 8 title, which is huge. We are rolling our way through these divisions. We did complete two objectives, so that's some more coins into the bank. And looking at the stats, I mean, he was just taking a lot of penalties, which killed him. And we converted on all of them. And uh, we'll take the win, though, that's for sure. So we completed two objectives. That gets us 400 coins into the bank. We are now just under 27,000 coins, which is a nice coin total, not going to lie. So there we go. 200 coins and a monthly collectible so we can get another premium players pack, hopefully. But, guys, that is going to be it for this Monopoly Hub video. We did end up going 2-0, keeping our perfect record alive, which is amazing. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Join the Leaf for Nation. Also, guys, be sure to follow me on all my socials. Links will be in the description. Go and check them out. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.